Hi, Linda Dietz here, President of MindWorks Incorporated. I'm a transformation specialist in the arena of relationships with a new book coming out soon to be published called Your True Soulmate Connection. Welcome to you only better. The video that you're now watching is my submission to the greatest author speaker contest and votes are what advance me to the next round. So I mean, I'm thanking you in advance for watching and for your vote. Be sure to do that at the end of the video. Let's talk touch. I'm out here in nature because this is a great place to talk, to talk about this subject of touch. Touch is something I feel like in our society we are really, really, really deprived of. We live in a touch deprived society. The internet has been a blessing and a curse for us in this arena. While the internet has connected us globally on a speaking hearing level, it has really isolated us in our individual lives from that actual physical touch part. Touch is so, so essential. In the work that I do, I've just watched so many individuals and individuals really scare you of touch. They, they seem to, they, because they want to be so much in control a lot of the time, they, they just have lost that ability to connect. And connection, having a connection with another individual, is a lot of times done through touch. Now we've been told that the body is something that people believe 100% of the time. They may only believe our words 50% of the time. So the body doesn't lie. And that's why touch is so important. I found there's three things that are necessary to have a, a connected, loving relationship. Those three things are kindness, which is pretty self-explanatory. As we're kind to each other, our children, our spouse, our significant other, and kind to ourselves, we allow the energy to flow freely and receive and give with open hearts. The second point is vulnerability. You gotta be willing to be vulnerable. When you're vulnerable, you can be intimate. That's the payoff for vulnerability, intimacy. And that is something that I found in my work that as a transformation specialist, and even as in my work as a stage hypnotist, the ability to be vulnerable and trust is what is a major challenge for a lot of individuals. This is something that is easily addressed. However, it's a something that does take a little work. The third thing is touch. Touch. Our hands, Look at, lift your hands up. Our hands is what differentiates us from the animals. Our hands not only are our connecting link within ourselves, it makes a circle of energy. When we reach out to somebody else with our hand and they take it, then it's also a connecting, it's also a connection that forms a, a circle of energy so that you can read the language of the body. The body, as I said, doesn't lie. And learning that language and understanding that language is integral in having an effective communication with your kids, with your spouse, or within yourself. Touch is essential. Our hands also are the blueprint or the soul map that we carry with us all the time. In my work as a hand analyst, I help individuals understand their fingerprints, the lines in their hands, help them understand this soul map so they can connect better with their inner self. When I was a child, I was in an incubator. I was about probably two pounds, or three, two or three pounds. And I can remember being in that incubator and just being surrounded by these glass walls and not being able to touch anything. Now as a baby, this is significant. Also, it cut the connection with me and my mom. And I think that's also part of the, the challenge that we deal with. A lot of us are cut, or have been disconnected from the nurturing connection of our mothers, where we got that loving touch right from the beginning. For many, many years, breastfeeding was not, was not recommended. That was how babies bonded. We bond through touch. We read energy through touch. We love through touch. It's so amazing to me that so many people are restricted and, and, and tight, uptight about touching. I was dealing with a couple just recently where they were working on their connection and their communication and the, the husband in the relationship and I were talking and we talked for about two hours 
And it was at the point of leaving when I got up and gave him a hug that I understood in about 30 seconds what the challenge was in their relationship. I literally felt him. I, as I put my arms around him in a very loving, comforting way, I could just feel him pulling back. And there was this terror about connecting and touching. Well, when you have that kind of terror, it's pretty hard to be kind to yourself. It's pretty hard to be open and vulnerable. So it's real hard to have intimacy in your relationship. This is the, this is the key. Like I said, we are not taught. We have created a society where touch is, is restricted. Where, we, where people in our school system, teachers cannot hug a child. They can't touch. We've gone touch-phobic. So I, it's my, my opinion and what I've found throughout the years is as I express out and as I express and touch people, this is amazingly transformative for individuals. I have watched a simple hand-holding cause people's hearts to open. Where you just reach out, listen, and hold their hand. Or a simple hug and their hearts just open up. The barriers come down, the hearts open up, the energy flows. And I've literally had people tell me that their lives are transformed simply because of those small actions. About 11 years ago, I had a transformation, a transformative spiritual experience where I touched the universe. And it was quite blissful at first. It was quite amazing. I, I stood in this river of consciousness called love and it flew around me, through me, and in me. But when I came back, I went into a very deep depression because I had no place to express it. And I ended up, uh, it ended up in a hospital stay where I also saw that people just weren't being touched. The solution of the hospital was to give me, give me a prescription. They didn't address what was really needed, which was to be held, nurtured, touched, hugged. This is what people need when they're depressed. This is what people need in times of crisis. People need to be touched. Our, we need to be touched in our world. As I observed the people around me, a lot of them were just starved for touch. The same way people are in their relationships, the same way children are in our lives right now. That's why the work that we do, the work that I do as a transformation specialist is so powerful. I create space. I hold space for people. Through the power of soul mapping, soulmate mapping, I can help couples see their connections and help them touch each other physically, mentally, emotionally, and emotionally. I can, I also found out, I've also, I also can help them connect with their children more effectively. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, expression that is so lacking in our world right now. So, there's so much need for this. In essence, touch really can change the world. When they say you've got the whole world in your hands, it's true. It's hand to hand. The hands are a direct connection to the heart. And the heart, the message that love is all there is, which is the message I got over 11 years ago, is conveyed through the power of our hands. Kindness, vulnerability, and touch. Hand to hand, we connect and express the love that lives in us, through us, and surrounds us. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to vote, and I'll see you on the other side.